very interesting and, well, quite complex. Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, I'm the master taste of whiskey.com and today we have a rarity here on my cask. It's one of the very last casks of Little Mill. It's bottled by an independent bottler and I never heard of that before. It's called the Spirit and Cask Range. Here we go. Um, this bottle appeared in the vicinity of the Ian McLeod independent bottler uh, so that I think that it will be bottled at Ian McLeod in Edinburgh but uh, there's not, nothing said about this bottling. Um, whenever you get a, a bottle from an old and closed and dismantled wrecked distillery as the Little Mill is and I uh, took a video of the original Little Mill eight years old uh, lately and I was quite mm, disappointed with that bottle because it was so expensive as a collector's item uh, but the quality was mediocre. So this one is from 1984 one of the very last casks available from Little Mill cask number 3899 distilled in November 26th, 1984, bottle in 2016, and number of bottles 250. Uh, this is a lowland whiskey, and it was matured in a refill bourbon hogshead. So it's wonderful that they write it down on the label which cast they used, and hogsheads are re-fabricated, no, uh, rearranged or remanufactured ex-bourbon cask where you have the uh, single staves uh, put together in a slightly bigger cask so from four American standard uh, from three American four American standard barrels uh, you get three uh, hogsheads um, and this is an ex-bourbon type so American white oak and it's a refill that means that the first filling uh, was already sucking out aromas from the cask walls and uh, there we have a refill and that means uh, that the aromas are less inside the whiskey that the distillery character is stronger in comparison to the cask character but um, when you mature a whiskey that long as this one 30 years or 32 years then um, it might be not that bad to have a, a refill cast because otherwise you would have this extreme influence of wood. So these oakiness which tend to be bitter and bull. So a refill might not be that bad. 48.5% ABV from the price I have no idea. Uh, I would suggest uh, 150, 200. This might be a, a feasible price for this whiskey. Yeah. Quite normal, nothing special on the cork. Little Mill was a lowland distillery, but it wasn't distilling uh, with three stills, but only with two. And uh, 1984, I think they weren't producing, or they were, were producing not that much, because it was the big British recession and uh, a lot of distillery closed in that time and I think Little Mill closed as well shortly afterwards and they reopened or they closed in 1991 and then they reopened in 1994 and just worked for a season and then uh, they closed finally after going bankrupt in 1995 and the uh, stocks were bought by Glen Cotrine Bonded Warehouse and uh, well, some casks were sold to independent bottlers and from these casks this is one. Um, in the past decades these casks were sold and uh, there, is very, there are very few casks remaining. There is only very little rest available to the connoisseurs and collectors and this is one of those. Um, 
And typically, if I say this is a collector's item, then I suggest that this cask is really expensive and the quality is limited because the collectors, the value collectors, uh, add a newsletter on this on whiskey.com. So if you're interested in background information from time to time, uh, we're sending out uh, newsletters in, in summertime every two months and in wintertime every month. Uh, so there, feel free to uh, give us your email address for the newsletters. Um, yeah, and so with these rare casks, I typically have the idea it's no good. So it's overpriced at least. Very interesting and, well, quite complex aroma with light fruits. So even with 32 years of age or 31 years of age, um, it was November 1984. It's quite f fresh. And the uh, Little Mill had only two stills, not three, which were, well, not common to the lowlands, but widespread in the lowlands. And with this a little vanilla note and some, <laughs> sorry about that, some muddy earthen uh, aromas in it, but interesting. Mm. Ho ho, quite intense. The high ABV of 48.5 is pressing the aromas and there is some spiciness developing, but there's no bitterness at all. And the fruitiness is filling the complete inside of my mouth and uh, a wonderful, pleasant feeling in my mouth and no bitterness at all for those 31 years. So the refill casks are perfectly suited for this whiskey. Yeah, a little vanilla showing up, but it's a refill, so the vanilla note is not that strong. This is uncolored, until filtered, so natural content. I like that, yes, really. intense with a second sip and the 48.5 is optimal yeah so it's not too weak it's not too strong strong it's not burning so it's just the right amount of alcohol in this whiskey yeah thank you very much for watching stay tuned there's more to come and feel free to share this video with your friends